Well, that sure was nice while it lasted, wasn't it? Canada's ban on foreign home buyers took effect on January 1 in an attempt to curb. The inflationary effects foreign ownership has on our markets. Now, we might as well not have it all together. On March 27, the Minister of Housing was altering the ban so that newcomers bearing work permits could now buy property. According to the new rules, anyone in Canada with a work permit is able to purchase a residential property while working. In order to be eligible, permit holders must have at least 183 days left on their work permit at the time of purchasing a home and cannot already own a residential property. The problem with all this is that work permits are notoriously easy for people to obtain. It keeps getting worse. Under the new rules, the ban will no longer apply to vacant land zone for residential and mixed use. This means non-Canadians are now able to purchase this land and use it for any purpose, including residential development. Additionally, another exemption is being made to allow foreigners to buy residential property for the purpose of housing development. Based on the amendments, this exception now also applies to publicly traded companies formed in Canada and controlled by foreigners. In other words, there may as well never have been a foreign ownership plan in the first place. With this many loopholes, anyone from just about any country can circumvent the rules and take what they want. This essentially leaves Canadians with the following options. Option number one. Locate a sorcerer and have him cast you back into your mother's belly. Once you're reborn, your mission is to enter the workforce at the age of three and to save every penny while living at home until you're 34 years old. Option number two. If you have anything to bribe the sorcerer with not only should you have him orchestrate your rebirth. Have him slip in an incantation that'll see you being born to a wealthy father. Option number 3. Kiss your friends and family goodbye and dedicate yourself to working two full-time jobs per day for the next 5 to 8 years. Depending on what kind of real estate you're after. Option number 4. This one is beginning to seem popular on social media. Option 4 is to move to another, more affordable country. Yes. It's actually getting to the point where Canadians are thinking about leaving their home country so they can afford to live. While many voters are counting on the Conservatives to repair what the Liberals have done once they're elected, we need to be realistic. Quali Evra will have his work cut out for him and even with a tremendous degree of hard work and dedication. It will take many moons to correct this issue. And even then, it will be too late for many Canadians. How are you coping with the continually rising house prices? Are you thinking about leaving Canada? Thank you for watching.